shall be on the next one. Stop saying that. Sonia and Richard, yeah. So Mummy said she weren't going out, but you think she might have done? Had you done that before, love? Left you on your own? And did Mummy ever say where she were going? Or who she was seeing? What about Daddy? Are Mummy and Daddy still friends? She'd been slipping out at night, apparently. But not through the front door, through here. So neighbours wouldn't see her leaving kids. Who told you that? Neighbours. Four kids between seven and three. We'll call in the children's home, see if they can't take them. At least we can work out where the dad is. Explain to them what's going on. What are you thinking? I'm thinking... And little ones went to bus stop to wait. They only just missed her. Cheers, mate. Sir. Tomorrow night, me and your mum. You'll need to look after your brother and sister. No, we're not. Painting town red. Uh, no, we are not. Terry Cohen's 40th. Well, how long's that been on cards? 40 years, presumably. Oh. <laughs> oh I don't do reading. I know, but you can see what colour it is, and that's the third we've had this week. You'll have to tell Eric we can't go, cos we can't bloody afford it. He's my oldest mate. I've said that we're going, and we are. At 7.41 this morning, the body of a 28-year-old woman, Wilma McCann, was found in the Prince Philip playing fields behind Scott Hall Avenue in Chapel Town. Wilma had been stabbed 15 times. Two further lacerations were found on back of her head. Impact wounds from some kind of tool, hammer, spanner, maybe. I'm telling you this not to shock you, because I want you all to appreciate what one person did to another person in our city last night. And it's our job, it's your job, to find out who they are and why this happened. <laughs> 